Praise the mighty Jesus. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That is the subject we are looking at in this 10 minutes with God today. And that is written in Matthew chapter 5 and in verse 5. Jesus there said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What does this mean? And how can we benefit from this verse? That is what we are looking at today. Let us pray. Almighty God, thank you for bringing us to these 10 minutes with God. As I have come into this time of 10 minutes in your presence, breathe upon the world and let it meet with faith in our heart. In Jesus' name, thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Praise God. Once again, I welcome you to 10 minutes with God in Jesus' name. And straight ahead, we are going to the to the verse of scripture we are looking at today. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. They shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. What does this mean? What does it mean to be meek? What does it mean to inherit the earth? In Nigeria today, the uh, one of the commissioner of police, I think in Lagos, he was saying in the new year 2024 that no grief for anybody, and it has become a slogan that people should not grieve for anybody. People should not, if somebody do something to you, go and report it to the police, go and report it, don't grieve for them, or you must take the matter up. But a matter, some things happened. I was on the platform, on the WhatsApp platform of um, a particular association I belong to, a voluntary association. A humanitarian association and then i posted some things on the platform then the secretary of the of the branch we have belonged to and we were former leader and um, in a smaller unit he, he, he said that uh, that post i posted was not, was not supposed to be on the platform and i removed it on a normal day i should I contest it and argue it and let him see the reason why it should be there because actually it should be there but since i remove it my own motto is to grieve for anybody. It's not no grief for anybody. If I had gone ahead and started arguing with him, I will argue with him. Now he's a leader. Now he has already removed the the post. So what, what have I achieved? In the process, I've lost a friend. In the process, though we may still be together, but there's this tendency. They will know that this person is uh, is not a, a team member, a team player. And it's not meek. So what I did is that I, I allowed him. And some people were saying something. I said, allow him. My own motto this year is to grieve for everybody. For me to have peace. On another platform where my children are going to school and the school they go to, the school platform, the parents and teachers, the discussion group, some people, some of the boss used to pick the children late and take them back late. And then my own daughter to have that issue. Most times when the issue come up, I'll call the driver of the bus and I'll tell him, where are you? What's going on? He will tell me what is happening. My mind is rest assured. I don't bring it up on the platform. I don't bring it up on the group to be talking. But some parents will put it on the group. Ah, hey, see what is happening. Oh, hey, my children, I've not seen them. Oh, they will start talking. Ah, this is a uh, uh, social o'clock. This night nine o'clock. Children have not come. Instead of them to just call the driver straight and know what's happening and know where to go and pick the job and rescue them or something, they put it on the platform. The chairman of the PTA is also a, is also a parent and is busy with other things. Why can't individuals play their role? Why? It's because they are not meek. So the man put it there and he said something. I answered him. I answered him correctly. He argued with me. I said, you are correct, sir. I don't want argument. <laughs> I told you, you are correct, sir. Because my motto this year is to grieve for everybody. My motto this year is to be meek. That's what I'm saying. When you are meek, you have peace. When you are meek, you have a kind of peace. People around you will wonder, who is, what kind of person is this? No, you can't, nobody will fight with you when you are meek. You can't fight with anybody when you are meek. When they have matter, they can bring it to you to say to when you are meek. You are the peace maker when you are meek. They know you when you are meek. So the, all these gastrics are linked together. When you are meek, you are poor in the spirit. When you are meek, you are, you, you, are, you are mourning for your unrighteousness. That is the fact that you are meek. When you are meek, you have other qualities. You also have to talk about, about the Beatitudes. 
You can see, as I was saying, I always said, when you are meek, you are righteous. You are a peacemaker. It's, they are all there in the Beatitudes. Because when you are meek, you don't make, you don't quarrel. So, the peacemakers, the, the meek, their own motto for the whole of their life is to grieve for everybody. Somebody say no grief for everybody. They make their own motto is to grieve for everybody. For those who are not Nigerians who don't understand how broken, to no grief for everybody means don't agree for anybody. No grief for anybody means don't agree for anybody. If they bring, if they slap you, if they do this to you, you should do that to them. If somebody can mistakenly step on your feet, remove his head. In fact, they kill him. When somebody do something to you, do you to do your own back. An eye for an eye. That is what it means. No grief for anybody. But when you grieve for everybody, you know that mistakenly they may have done something. You forgive them. Knowingly they may have done something. You forgive them. Not because of them, but because of you. So that you can have peace. Jesus said it somewhere again. He said, I agree with the adversary quickly. Why do you agree with your adversary quickly? It's your adversary. I agree with him quickly. He's arguing. He's arguing. I agree with him. Yeah, yeah, probably it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You are right. You are right. And then you move on. When you agree with your adversary quickly, there was no need to go to the to the police station. The one we discussing. The police now will charge you. The, you go whether you are right or wrong. You are going to position. I waste your time. Time that supposed to be used for productive things like listening to 10 minutes with God, you waste it on the road to police station. Maybe you spend one hour on the way. In that one hour, you have watched six videos of 10 minutes with God. Maybe you, uh, the police say, Come the following day, go and bring this, and we have to see this. Yeah, you are going and coming, going and coming. On what? On a small matter. Maybe it's even the person is owing you 50,000 naira. And then you go to police and you come back. Go to police, they come, you come in one way, come the following week. The transport fare you have spent at the end of the day is about 80,000 naira. Sometimes the police may say they don't have something in their car, you have to buy fuel. Yes, you got judgment. Yes, the person refunded. Yes, the person was made the face, the, 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 was paid back. But what did you lose to get what? So some, some things you let go. Jesus is, he knows, he said, Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Those who are meek, he said, they shall inherit the earth. They shall inherit the earth. They are the ones that will inherit the earth. They are the ones that this earth is meant for because they are meek. Because they are meek and lowly. They are going to inherit the earth. The earth belongs to them. They are going to stand firm on this earth and they are going to walk worthy. Let me tell you something again. Those who are meek will live longer than those who are not meek. Because they are not going to endanger themselves in any unnecessary thing. You will not find them where uh, something dangerous will happen. They are meek. They are gentle. They are, they are soft. So they take their life easy. But those who take this difficult, those who take things, they are not meek. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Before you know, you bagger. The life is ended. Then those who are meek are the ones that barely those who are not meek. Because they, they because they now you are fighting with somebody, the meek will say, I'm sorry from the word go, you will not go to fight. The one that you say is not meek will fight. And then they can shoot him with something, they can shoot him or they can hit him hard, and then you fall down and die hospitalized. So by so doing, the number of those who are in that kind of category reduces. But the number of the meek increases. So that's how the meek inherit the earth in one way. In another way, when Jesus comes in the millennia, these same people that are meek are going to come to reign with him. I pray for you that God will make you meek and will give you deeper understanding of this word more than I can explain in Jesus' name. I cannot explain it enough. That's why I'm praying that God will give you more understanding and you will be meek, be gentle. You will not be in the category that will be saying no grief for everybody. We shall grieve for everybody and we shall have our peace and we shall inherit the earth in Jesus' name. Let's close our eyes and go to God in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for this word that have come to us today again. The grace will be doers of this word. Give to us in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for the answer prayer. In Jesus' name, I pray.
I thank you for taking our time to join us today in this 10 minutes with God. The Lord is going to bless you and I want to share this um, link of this video of this channel with other people so that they also can be blessed. God bless you. I will see you in the next video. Bye.